Hello everyone, in this video I would like to share my experience with messing around with this RF24 L01 modules. I buy them from eBay for now. In these days I wanted to use them for longboard application as a receiver and transmitter and I couldn't get them to work. I was giving up, I tried many of them, like six or seven, and none of them worked. So basically, to get started, this is a good page that gives you introduction to getting started with the modules, it talks about common problems. Uh, there are two available libraries that you can use for Arduino. For now, I'm gonna stick with this original library as it gives you more details in a serial monitor when you connect the module to Arduino. But maybe in later projects I'm gonna be using this one, which seems to be more advanced and developed uh, and actually more updated one. So, to get started I open my Arduino, install the library first of course, and then go to examples here, navigate to the library examples, the R24, and open the getting started sketch. So, we'll connect our Arduino Pro Mini to the RF24 module as shown in a picture in this diagram and simply upload the sketch after we check that we have correct sets. Alright, we'll power up the module, we'll open the serial monitor and as you can see we have plenty of information about the connection, it's good. We have successfully communicated from Arduino to the board itself through SPI port and we have set some addresses like receiver and transmitter addresses. You can see that they match the ones that we program here in the code. Alright, so let's try to switch this module into transmit mode by simply typing T into serial monitor. And as you can see, the problem occurs here. Now sending uh, some number, which is basically a time, and it's failed sending. The fact that it fails getting a response is because we still didn't connect any receiver, and of course if we're not sending anything, we will not get anything back. Okay, I digged online a lot for this problem here and the first thing of course is this page, it talks about a capacitor between the voltage input pin and the ground pin on this module. The capacitor should be located as close as possible to the module, so I just soldered one here and it didn't help. For me it didn't work. I then read about some wiki page here on the RF24 library and by the way this library does the same thing it does not send anything out on these Chinese modules but what I found here some information about what do again it talks about using a 3 volt, 3 volt battery as a voltage source uh, or adding a capacitor things like that but also it mentions about setting the clock divider on SPI uh, protocol in your library so I went ahead and found this file and modified it actually I found that this was already 4 in my library here didn't help. A couple of things I also googled here were somewhat insightful for me. They led me to my solution. Uh, again, as you can see here, you have a good report of good communication from Arduino to the board and have a bad connection somewhere. But what he points out, there's different modules available and his key suggestion here was basically adding a capacitor here uh, that did the magic for solving the problem which again was, you know, failing to send. Another thing found, and lastly I wanted to talk about this page here, where people just disabling printf function in the Arduino code, which seemed to help a little bit. If you zoom in on this picture here, you can see that they were sending something out, and even though the program says it's failed sending, the receiver end was receiving something. In my case, failed sending, does nothing on the receiver end. It doesn't send anything out. For now I didn't disable this function, kept it on, but here's what I did instead. In the same library examples here I found this sketch which is Nordic FOB test and I just looked through and I found that they have more things after they begin the radio communication. So um, I tried each line at a time and what I found that this line helps solve my communication problems with the module. So I just copy this line here, I go back to my getting started sketch, alright, I will find this line where we begin the radio module, I'll paste this one here and let's reload the sketch. Once we're done uploading we'll open the serial monitor. Please take a note here we have the addresses set in the program 
right now. They are corresponding to these pipelines. But let's try T for transmit mode. And it worked. Look at this. We are now sending some numbers. The fact that we're not getting a response yet is because we didn't connect our receiver module yet. So let's go ahead and upload the exact same sketch receiver mode. So I opened another instance of Arduino here so we can access different USB ports and for this receiver I'm going to be using the same Arduino Pro Mini. Um, we'll go ahead and do the same modification to sketch. Place this auto acquisition mode disable function. We'll go ahead and make sure we are on a different COM port. Pro Mini COM 16, Mini COM 15 and let's upload the sketch. Alright, opening serial monitor. This means that I didn't connect my voltage line yet. So I'm gonna connect 5 volts from Arduino to the breakout board and reset the Arduino again by reopening the port. As you can see there is some mismatch on the lines but this is because of the capacitors are not big enough on the breakout board. If I connect the RF module to the Arduino directly and solder a capacitor with 100 microfarads, that solves the problem. Let's see if transmit works on this module. Yep, it's working. That means the module is communicating out. So let's set it back to a receiver mode. And as you can see, we're getting some numbers out. Let's see if they correspond to our transmitter. So we have just reset the Arduino here by opening this monitor and voila, we're sending 7604, we're getting 7604. Um, sometimes the round trip in response, you know, if you send this number you get a response and how many milliseconds it takes to get the data back and forth. Sometimes they're displayed here, sometimes they're not, you know. I found sometimes helpful just holding one of the antennas with my fingers helps see I'm holding it now and I'm getting no weird things so I think it's all about you know the transmitter's power and maybe wires I'll probably go ahead and solder them directly so I don't have any issues with that later on another thing I wanted to point out is I measured the current that goes from my you know power supply of 3.3 volts to the power pin on the RF24 module and it's been sitting around like 25 milliamps which is quite low and surprising to me again I think this is all about the cheap Chinese clone modules they're probably not that powerful enough they're not spitting out as much RF power as original modules will I suppose there are some good examples of good experiments that people did with disassembling this NRF chips and looking inside and into the original chips and the Chinese copies once and they show differences and they talk about you know, things here to consider so for sure be aware of those Chinese cheap RF modules another good post I found here takes a close look at these Chinese modules and they take a close look at you know some missing components on drag boards and then uh, most importantly with the highlight here and that's what matches our hack here today is that some of these cheap Chinese clones have basically misconfigured their acknowledgement bits so that's why we need to disable that and you know that might bring some other problems as discussed here so I'm gonna go ahead and buy good original modules from this website here and hopefully report later on how they work compared to these ones but anyways that covers it up for today this is how we get these cheap Chinese modules to work. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, let me know. Maybe we can add something in the description so others can benefit. And with that, I wish you good luck with your project.